welcome to unify study so this is a pre series for all of you for the toc theory of computation because most of the students are facing the difficulty in this subject as this is a new subject or maybe you don't know about uh, anything about this subject or maybe you know something about this subject but it is not clear to you so that's why i am going to start this free series on toc from basic to advanced level everything i am going to discuss here i am thinking like that you don't know anything so from that i will upload day by day every day video will be there so please complete this total series of toc then you will get the confident about this toc and you will get definitely good marks in toc if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get all the latest notification and update so first of all what is toc toc means theory of computation now theory of computation why it is required and what are the topic we have to learn here so in the theory of computation first thing is that what is required for computation in the computer why means here are something like just like the languages means i am speaking now in english so english is a language so when you learn this language english how you learn this english because first of all you learn some alphabet alphabet means like a b c d so here also some alphabet that is we are writing in this way means here we are telling sigma sigma is the input alphabet in your english language there are the alphabet a to z same way if i am taking a language like that i am accepting two letter like a and b so this is the alphabet now what is that now with the a to z you can make some word right by combination of that a to z we are making the words like a p p a l e apple b a t bat in that way we are making some words there are some valid words there are some invalid words now in toc also if i am telling you with the a b you have to make some words but it is two letter word how you can make two letter word so two letter word i can make like that a a and another i can make like that a b any other one yes that is also possible like b a because a b and b a are not same any other two letter word is possible think like that yes another one is possible that is b b is there any other else remaining i hope nothing is remaining right so means these are the words with the a b when you are taking this is called the input alphabet these are the input alphabet okay so using this input input alphabet sigma a b we are making this words these are the words what it is length the length is here equals to 2 now in the same way if i am asking you that you have to make the words where length is less than 2 with the same thing you have to make length is less than 2 means think like that what i am telling length is less or not i am telling that length is less or equals to 2 now tell me think about that pause the video think about that what are the words you can make length equals to less or equals to 2 this is very important concept of toc and this is very important concept of your language also so think if i am taking that length of i can take a i can take b i can take a a i can take b b i can take a b i can take b a is it complete is there any other left tell me say that 
what I told length was less or equals to 2. Less or equals to 2 means what? Length can be 0, 1 and 2. Here we did not take length 0. Is it possible or not? Length 0 is also possible, right? Maybe as per our language, we are not thinking that length 0 is not possible. But as we are learning now POC, that's why this is very important to think. Yes, there will be the also, you have to think about that when it is length 0. Length 0 means what we say, that is we can say lambda or epsilon. Whenever which string, which language will accept that? Lane 0, remember that this is very important that length 0, if we are accepting lane 0 means it is called lambda or epsilon. This is very important concept of TOC. So, is it clear to you? Lane 0 means lambda or epsilon is accepted. So, as we take here less or equals to, that's why we are taking length 0. Now, maybe you are thinking that then why it is not minus 1? No, minus we are not considering here. We will consider till 0. 0 means lambda or epsilon. This is the first important symbol to remember lambda or epsilon. Now, if I am taking here the next one, if you are thinking about the next one, that is same alphabet. I am taking the same alphabet like the sigma was there A and B. Now, if I am telling you that you have to do where length, length less than 2. Now, Length less than 2. Means what? They are the equals to will be not there. Means length less than 2 means it will be A, B and lambda is also there. Any other S is possible? No. Because we are taking less than. Now if I am taking here the length greater than 0. Then what it will be? If I am taking here length greater than 0 and uh, maybe I am taking that less than 2. Greater than 0 and less than 2. This 2 combination is there. You have to take length greater than 0 and less than 2. Means how we can write? So think like that. Then what will be the possibility? As there is length greater than 0 means length 0 string is not accepted. That's why here lambda will be not accepted. Whenever it is not length 0 means lambda is not accepted or epsilon. Most of the time I will use lambda but lambda or epsilon are same. Remember that the lambda or epsilon these are same. Okay. So that's why here we will not take lambda and what, what we'll take as it is greater than 0 means I will take length A. Length means length 1 that length A, B and B. And less than means any other else I cannot take. If I am making less or equals to then we can take here A, A, B, B. A, B and B, A. Yes. So, for this video, it was the introduction of the TOC. So, I am giving something extra. If think like that, ki when there is 0 and 1, then what are the string of length 0, length 1 and if it is equals to, then what it will be? Main concept was that what is lambda or epsilon in the TOC. Now, in my next video, I will discuss about that. What is actually lambda? What is lambda difference? What is star? What is phi? So, if you are interested to continue this series, then please let me know in the, subs in the comment section. Then only I will continue this series. And please share this video to all of your friends. 
and make as much as view possible. If you want that the TOC series, complete series you want free of cost, then definitely do it. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get all the latest notification and update. Bye-bye.